You can find just about anything on the internet, recipes, do-it-yourself tutorials, the best place to stay on vacation, the lists are endless. You can also find an abundance of cute and funny animal videos, which is how one dog from Maine rocketed to fame. Whether she's jumping into piles of leaves or destroying something in her backyard, this dog named Stella always seems to be up to something. Stella, who lives in Freeport, has become a bit of an internet sensation over the last several years. It was this video, shared back in 2014 by her owner, Jody Hartman, that unexpectedly took the internet by storm. She does this behavior where she, while she's running, she drops her legs and sort of drags her back legs across the ground. And I just thought it looked funny, so I filmed it a couple times. Didn't think much of it, didn't even post it. And then a couple days later, I said, maybe I'll try to just see what happens if I put this on YouTube. I didn't really have any followers on YouTube at all. A couple days later, Hartman shared the video on Reddit. It exploded. I went to get my hair cut and in Portland, and I come outside and I've missed like 14 calls. The office is calling me that I used to work for. Um, my phone won't stop ringing and I don't know what's going on. I checked my email and realized that this video went viral as soon as I posted on Reddit. And so it had about 5 million views within like three hours. And then it became the number one video in the world on YouTube, and it stayed there for three days. Yep, that's me. Ever since, Hartman has been recording Stella doing just about everything, sharing the videos on platforms like Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok using the handle Dog Named Stella. Keeping up with Stella's roughly 1.5 million followers combined has actually become Hartman's full-time job. It was just like, wow, um, if, if I can accidentally make a video go viral or do it what I didn't expect it to, then maybe I can just keep doing stuff like this. And now he's also documenting Stella's new partner in mischief, Mabel, better known as Unstable Mabel. There's different types of labs. Mabel is sort of like the... There's the loving, cuddly one that you just sort of melts and, you know, she melts on you, she'll just like hang out and, and just be super chill. Stella's never really pleased unless she's playing. She just wants to be playing. I could play with her for four hours and, and I'd sit down and she will just grill me the entire time. I can feel her looking at me because she just is, still wants to play. Come on, girl. Come on, girl. Come on. Stella, come on. Come on. Let's go. Most good, of the time, good, good. Hartman is capturing moments Hi. just like this. Hi. Good girl. And this. And this. Stella, you want the mud? You love the mud. Stella, go get it. Get the stick. And most people aren't encouraging their dog to get muddy. <laughs> she kills snowmen. I make snowmen and she absolutely obliterates them. So we can't really go anywhere that has snowmen or she'll just destroy children's snowmen. There's no fancy equipment, just his iPhone and editing software. Good girl. Seems simple, but Hartman says it's a lot harder than it looks. It, it's more stressful than I ever thought it would be because it sounds so good and so easy. To just, oh, you can just take pictures of your dog or, and take videos of your dog, and people have always said that to me. It's, it's just, you can't, it's hard to separate life and work when you do it. You have to sort of make your own boundaries in, in that respect. From getting a video to go viral, that's just as challenging. It's very unpredictable. It's um, every time you think you've got it figured out, like which videos are gonna do well, it, 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 you're just proven wrong because it's like, it, there's not really any rhyme or reason to it. And I tell people this all the time, I'll work hard on a video and it'll be all creative and it'll have sort of, it might not grab your attention right off the bat, but I'll be really proud of it and it'll, I'll put a lot of work into it and it won't do that well. And then I'll post a video of like Stella eating a carrot in slow motion and it'll get like 10 million views. <laughs> yeah. You just never know. You just never know. It's, it's really bizarre. Did you want to show me something? Bizarre, but it's working. People can't get enough of the labs and their shenanigans. I try to keep the humor clean because <laughs> I try, because a lot of kids go to our, um, our pages to watch the videos. We have the kindergarten teachers that show the kids in their class Stella videos as a sort of like reward for at the end of the week. We get <clears throat> countless messages about how much joy the videos bring people. It's gotta feel yeah. really good. Yeah, it does feel good. That's what keeps us going for sure. Cause it can, you can get burnt out on social media, <clears throat> but that is what keeps us going. Hartman says he has no plans of slowing down and it's pretty safe to say neither do they. Stella 
She's 10 years old. I think she's got a lot, a lot of time and a lot of energy left. But I just think I'll make dog videos for. I don't see any end to it, really. <laughs> oh, I just love them so much. If you aren't already, you can follow Stella and Mabel on social media. Their handle is at dog named Stella. And Hartman says a lot has changed in the social media world since he first got on all of the platforms. It's really, really hard to get videos to go viral these days because it's become so saturated with funny animal videos. I can see that, but I was thinking as I was watching that, that there are a lot of individuals in this world who have achieved great fame through yeah. social media. The Kardashians oh, come yes, to mind. Yes. Stella has earned every <laughs> bit of her fame. <laughs> she has, and actually in the early days too, people like Ellen shared her videos, BarkBox shared videos, so that was definitely what helped them get the following in the beginning.